Yeah. And she sent me, it's a picture of her mom and her brothers and her, and they're all with Birdman. And she's like eight years old. They're like, and like Birdman's just like tattooed to the neck. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, it's like the funniest picture ever. I'm like, he just looks so like, like dangerous. And you guys look so docile and like harmless. <laughs> he just looks like he's like one angry tantrum away from just destroying everything in that IHOP. Yeah, he's, he's a menace. Yeah, I mean, he got catfished. Like Manti Teo? Do you know Manti Teo? Yes, worse. Search up. Search up right now, Chris Andrew. Okay, I got it. Dude, Why? That's crazy. Like, I'm talking, he said dick pics and shit. Oh, and no. Like, <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. Wait, like, first off, first off, this is all allegedly. Chris Anderson, if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, I, I don't want to get sued. I don't want to get sued, so. This is all a legend. I, I bet you're a great guy. We all make mistakes, but here we go. All right. Um, okay. It's right here. So on um, May 10th, 2012, a Denver NBC affiliate KUSA reported that Anderson's home was the target of an investigation of a suspected internet criminal case by Douglas County Sheriff's Office Internet Against children unit. Anderson was not charged with any crimes, but in 2013 it was revealed that Anderson, along with internet model Paris Dunn, were victims of an elaborate catfishing hoax orchestrated by a Canadian woman Shelley Cartier Chartier, in Easterville, Manitoba. And the story was covered by ABC's 2020 and Catfish the Show. So basically what she did was, when Chartier, who was 27 at the time in 2012, started direct messaging Paris Dunn, 17, an aspiring actress who commented on a public status post by NBA player Chris Anderson, 33, leaving her cell phone number. Seeing this, Chartier messaged Dunn at acting as the NBA player and started to engage in an online relationship. Chartier proceeded to set up a fake social media account for Anderson and Dunn, as well as reaching out to the real Chris Anderson acting as Dunn. So this... Tom Taylor, another fake account, a fictional friend of Anderson's, was used to facilitate a meeting between the real Anderson and Dunn in Denver across state lines from Dunn enacting U.S. federal consent laws. It is unclear if Chartier is behind this account, as she states she is not multiple times. During the person, during the in-person meeting, the 33-year-old NBA player engaged in sexual contact with the 17-year-old, and the online relationship continued after the meeting, but fizzled out. Sub sub subsequently Dunn continued to message the Anderson account and Chartier claims that in an attempt to stop the annoyance the Tom Taylor account was utilized in a blackmail scheme that threatened to release the explicit images Dunn sent at which point the police were involved Chartier disclosed in the episode of Catfish based around the case that the Tom Taylor profile was never heard in the creation of another participant who the police were aware of and the new photographs of the teenager were considered child per child pornography, necessitating an investigation of Anderson. Anderson engaged in an online in-person relationship with a 17-year-old. She had given him the impression that she was a legal adult, although the relationship was initiated by a profile created by Chartier, who was a 27-year-old woman living in Manitoba, acting as Paris Dunn. So, where so when they. When he met as a 33-year-old adult and had a sexual encounter with a minor who had lied about her age, and the incident pairs done labels as just only a kiss, which, you know, probably not. Uh, and she can, Paris Dunn actually continued to be sympathetic to the adult man, and Anderson was not charged with any crimes, and Chartier was actually arrested in 2013, and she pled guilty to impersonation, extortion, and making threats, stating that she was pregnant and told if she pled guilty, she would get a house arrest. And this is considered like the biggest catfish case ever solved. Like, what? yeah, you've never heard of ever this? Solved? They've yeah, never like, solved a better catfish case than that. Is, yeah, because she 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 literally took a girl's number online, acted like as a girl. Con then she acted as an NBA player contacting the girl. Then she contacted the NBA player acting as the girl. Took the nude photos she got from the girl, sent it. So she middleman two relationships and then met, made them meet somehow. And they were, how did they not like figure it out when they first met? Did someone like, did nothing slip? Did nothing slip? Yeah. Did I no one go like, or did you think Chris Andrews just like, just came there and got his dick sucked and left? 
it might be that it might be the latter. It's <laughs> just so I don't understand. There's like so many like first off, why is someone putting their phone number on an Instagram comment or whatever? This is like 2011. This is different. I know, but it's still like I was on Instagram when it first came. Like it's just that's just it's, it's interesting, but I see what you're saying. Actually, that was over a decade ago. Times were pretty different. Number two, like, what does Cartier have to gain? What did she gain from any of that? Uh, like, uh, buddy, she, buddy, but here, here we go. I'm about to share the screen. It's not like she's like a genius, but this is just kind of like that's kind of how like girls are. I feel like that's so elaborate, like FBI shit. You don't want to give her props, but it's like, damn. All right. You ready? Shelly Cartier. She's from Easter. You ready to see what she looks like? Yeah, I see. It's a self. She's a self-proclaimed hermit for years. Where's she's a self-proclaimed hermit? Oh my I god, know. I didn't even see that. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is about to be a whole clip when I edit this. Okay, yeah. She. This picture's doing her justice right here. Yeah, this is what. Oh. She looks like a demon. Dude, she's not cute. Also, these lip piercings went out like of style uh -huh. like 15, 15 years ago. If I had. I forgot those were a thing. Oh my God. So yeah, she was just. Wait, she. This girl, Paris. From Catfish is now dating a 76 year old. What? The, the Paris Dunn? Yeah. Paris Dunn hasn't let her catfish. She's now, she's dating Don McLee. Wait, 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 wait. Is she a babe? Also, <laughs> this, we have store, it's like, oh, okay, so let's see. She has half a million followers on Instagram, so she's doing something, right? Yeah. Oh, she could get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hubba da, hubba da, hubba. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Chris Anderson was doing it right. Chris Anderson Birdman had it right. Well, you got to think, like, I mean. Is this her man's? No. No. Uh, we're, we're done with that. We're done. With that. <laughs> I mean, so that was uh, today's episode. Today, a, or the the biggest catfish of biggest catfish mystery solved of all time. It's Harris Dawn and Chris Anderson. Yeah, interesting. I was about to be clipped. I'm about to clip this from the self-proclaimed hermit. <laughs> self-proclaimed hermit. Yeah. I never, I never, the only celebrity I, I had ever heard about getting catfished was Manti Teo. What was his even that he like, wasn't it people were like, because at first people felt bad for him, but then when people really found out, they were like, you're an idiot, right? Isn't that what happened? Like when they yeah. truly found out? I don't, it, it's something bad too. It's like, I don't, it might have even been like a dude doing it, but I don't think they ever like met. Something like that. Like they dated she for like two died. years. Or, oh, I think there was a death involved. She killed herself, or like now she killed herself. She died of cancer, and then didn't he like play a game in her memory? There, I something like that. It's <laughs> something <laughs> weird as well. Like it's like, how are you this stupid, bro? Like, I watched the video. They're like, Mad Titeo sucked because he was just fucked in the head by the catfish. They're like, he never recovered. Like I don't, I I don't get that. I wouldn't have recovered. I, if I was catfished in front of like millions of people, like at least Chris Dunn still got pooned. Like Chris Dunn here, like did he get catfished? Yeah, but he still probably got head. And like, 